Today brings a resplendent new miniature of Argul Tal of the Word Bearers. Hello and welcome back to War Specs Tactics, where today we're just taking a look at another cool new miniature. This one being another entry in the Horus Heresy character series, with perhaps one of the bigger names of the lore of the Horus Heresy, who hasn't actually got his own miniature yet. For those that hadn't heard of him, Argul Tal once was a Word Bearers captain serving under Lorgar in the Serrated Sons chapter. Following Lorgar and the Wordbearers being chastised by the Emperor and told to abandon their worship of him, Lorgar and a number of Wordbearers ventured into the Eye of Terror in search of new and more powerful gods worthy of their respect. Many never returned, but those who did were irrevocably changed, becoming the first possessed Chaos Space Marines known as the Gal Borbak. Argortal was fused with a demon called Raum, haunting and corrupting his thoughts and fused into his very being. As the Horus Heresy unfolded, more and more physical manifestations of demonhood appeared, and this model appears to depict him pretty late into his transformation, splintered power armour, leathery protruding wings and horns, and he also seems to have butchered himself an ultramarine, who both the World Eaters and Word Bearers clashed with during the Horus Heresy. He certainly tangled with some big names, an ally and friend of none other than Khan the Betrayer, and was eventually betrayed by the chaplain Erebus. I think they've done pretty well with the sculpt of his miniature, it will no doubt be a Forge World resin cast as opposed to a plastic kit. It had aimed to be used in 30k as opposed to 40k. I think they've done pretty well to get the balance right between the possessed bits protruding from his armour, while still managing to keep him looking like a Chaos Space Marine as opposed to a bloated demonic mess. He does seem to have a nice serrated sun symbol on his chest, though doesn't seem to have any of his custodies gear which he fought with. I believe he gained one of their guardian spears following betraying some custodies, though please correct me if I'm wrong. There's no release date on the miniature so far, I'm sure he'll be coming in time. Games Workshop do seem to be in the business of showing virtually everything that they're releasing a good month or so in advance these days. Might be sometime in July or August. In any case, I do quite like the options that the 30k range gives to Space Marines and Chaos. I feel like if you like the miniature, then Chaos Space Marines could make use of him in a number of different ways. Maybe a beefed up Chaos Lord with a jump pack, perhaps a greater possessed stand-in, or maybe he could act up a bit and that stand in for a demon prince, though I suspect he might be a little bit smaller than the standard versions. He still looks like he'll tower far over your standard space marines though. In any case, it's pretty good fun to see a big name of the Horus Heresy get a miniature all to themselves. I do quite like the trend that Games Workshop setting of bringing miniatures from novels or series and turning them into plastic and resin. It certainly adds a lot more meaning to the plastic on the tabletop if they represent a character that you like the background from when you've read about them in the lore. In any case, let me know what you think down in the comments. The miniature seems pretty nice to me though. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics, where I'll certainly try and keep up with Games Workshop's miniature and book releases as they come out. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is just a Patreon link down in the video description. It is what allows me to make videos like this quite so regularly. There are a fair few perks for joining, so feel free to check it out in the link if you're interested. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.